there is now a place that we could call peace. A place that has been driven through. A place that has been observed. That has been worshipped and idled for centuries. This place is hidden within ourselves. It's only through our plan that we could reach to obtain it. This place of relaxation and enjoyment and absolutely nothing and everything that we are surrounding ourselves with. For when we learn about peace, not only are we learning about our environment that surrounds us, we're learning about the other people that have different perspectives in our life. The people that offer that different genuine thing that might take a knack for your brain. That peaceful encounter that is self-fulfilling. For when we attain a certain spot in society and we start to feel comfortable with what we are doing, there's that safety net that is behind our backs that watches out for us and catches us on our mistakes. For when we catch our mistakes and we find that equilibrium, that equilibrium that suffices every component within our body then we learn and there are mottos out there that say once you stop learning there is no point to living So as we reach new levels of understanding, we start to compromise all the bad projects that have been part of the past. It's just like when we're in school. We don't like to remember the bad projects that we did. We love to remember the good projects that we did and scored highly on. For we don't focus on mistakes or failures. We focus on the positive, about staying on track, staying on top of things, and ultimately enjoying yourself, enjoying life for what it has to offer. For we might trip sometimes, and that is okay because it is a learning curve of which we have allowed ourselves to understand, to move on from that learning curve and to grow. This is living life and this is a piece of me that is demonstrating a piece of peace. You could call it being in the sane. Of being so willing to desire that I'm at a loss for words. 
that the simple empathy for others is what drives me to live my life. And the mere thought of making someone's day is something that brightens my day. For when we look, it's slippery. And there are trees in our path. But we have to remember that every obstacle that we make is something that is natural to you. It's something that you could overcome and melt. Something that is human and projectile to being an object that you could overcome. Now it's not to be a sense of ignorance in which we shrug it off and politely give a prayer to the thanks. It's something that we learn from inside. It's something that we use to motivate our inner spirit to be the best person that we can be. It's merely a tool on our tool belt. Something that we could use to say, yes, I have that life experience. I've done this. Now, it is time for a break. For when we reflect on everything that we have come to live for, we can appreciate all the difficulties that have been placed upon us. The break is now over. In the start of the video, we talked about peace, about finding that inner peace. A peace to us that is fundamentally always there, but of which sometimes may lack the virtue or the insight to understand.
for when we accept what is placed in front of us. We come to an understanding that this is me, Braden Antoniuk, speaking to you right now. This is me. Now there could be someone else speaking to you, of course. Someone of which hath doth no name. Some which may transcript ever so slowly, ever so do a message. As the signs of mental size a mental psychosis starts to seek in and drip drop into your system. You start to hear my words that come from my mouth. You start to feel the message that I'm sending to you. The one of genuinity, of one that which is living. For this name is no longer a name to this video. This video is a video name in itself. But no more talking circles to you. For this is a time to enjoy yourself. This is a time to live your life. This is your time. So appreciate it forever that we give to you. Love it forever so you may wish. You are not stuck in a hole and there is a rope everywhere that you go. And to see that rope is to see that the Lord is good that God ever so powerful as he may be is true that the self of which I have taught you to learn is something that must be embraced and that the education system is needed in society to teach kids the fundamental learning process of understanding who they are as an individual. For Canada is one of the countries of which we have so many individuals that love but lack the trust of guidance. For the guidance is a fault of self. A part identity of which we do not know. Of which we must correspond to others in order to understand. For once we understand each corresponding component to these individuals, we could help and we can grow And we could learn, love, live, laugh, enjoy. But mental illness, such as depression, is brought upon the self through doubt, through this misunderstanding of conceptions. This is not something that is forced, it's something that is natural, it's something that happens to people because that is part of God's work. For without this equilibrium of peace and self-understanding, then who are we to begin with? Who are we to move on 
in this journey that we call life and to respect our fundamental behavior of who we are. For when we learn about these different aspects, about controlling who we are, about living past senseless activities such as TV and video games, and take our time to devote ourselves to things that are purposeful, that that is when we start to grow that is when we start to see that is when we start to feel, feel God's work deep inside our bones. And accept what is this that is me. That we accept that Braden Antoniuk is Braden Antoniuk. that we accept that the self is driven to do stuff that is abstract, that takes precedence. But these things are needed, for without these things, we would not be at this point, this point of joyous of keep it real 